Hello YouTube, this is RV Granny. When I got up this morning, the first thing I heard on the news was that they were having a fire at Alder Lake. And you know that's a favorite spot of ours, so I wanted to go down and take a look. While we were looking for a good spot to view the fire, we ran into someone that told us the place to go, so we hurried over there. When we got there, the television crew was busy interviewing one of the people, so we set up the camera and took these pictures. This is the south side of Alder Lake, and you can see that there's a little bit of water left in this part of the lake. Taking a photo documentary? You're getting it every day for us? No, I'm a YouTuber. I got a YouTube channel. Oh, how nice. That's awesome. And I've been talking about Alder Lake receding for a while now on my channel. And I've got everybody all across the country watching. And now you can say, well, I know by the way, Alder Lake is not only receding, it's burning. <laughs> yeah, it's it's kind of a, been a favorite spot of ours forever. And we're just really heartbroken to see it doing this. Well, you know, as it's burning right now, you, as you can see, it's actually burned through there and you can barely even see it. So it's all burning on the ground. So it's just removing extra fuels that have built up. It's a very natural thing. If it doesn't threaten the community and it just stays up on the hillside, it's not going to be bad. Not, it's not like what you see in Okanagan yeah. where complete stands are taken out and wiped out. All those trees are fine uh, that are growing. It's actually burning on the ground below them. And, and many of those trees are so old, this isn't the first fire they've seen. They, they, they yeah, said, they this is just the first time they said, what are all these people doing looking at us? We've been doing this for 400 years. So, not the This information made us feel a lot better. Now we know that most of the trees are going to be saved. This little information station provided us with a lot of comfort. We found out that 225 acres had been involved so far and that they were using bulldozers to try to clear the way to stop the fire and contain it. We stopped at Mineral and let Bonnie swim before we went home. The weatherman is promising rain again tonight. I sure hope he's right. About a month ago when I first mentioned our drought, I showed you a place called Ohop Bob. For anyone interested, that piece of property is now for sale. Goodbye, friends.